This is Scott again with another quick how-to video. Today what I'm dealing with is I'm out here in my workshop and I have a pull-on chainsaw, model number P3314, it's 14 inch, and it starts and it idles okay, but as soon as you give it some gas or try to cut something, it bogs down and cuts out. So pretty sure it's something to do with the carburetor. I'm hoping it just needs an adjustment. If not, it might need to be rebuilt or changed out. Either way, none of it's really that difficult. Now you can see it's, you can, I'm not sure, I wanna take the cover off and actually see the screws and see what they look like. So all I have to do to get to the, to that is to unscrew this cover. And it's a T25 um, Torx screwdriver because it's one of those like star type bits so I'm just getting down in here and loosening all these so I can take the cover off and make sure that I push that down so I can get this cover out of here and it should just lift up so I'm just pulling it off and you can see look a little cap on here here's the air filter take that off hmm, not as bad as I expected and the carburetor is down behind this base here now I'd have to take these couple screws off to get to that but if you noticed right down in there those two holes there is some adjustment nuts there's one for idling and one for uh, the high speed and it looks like they're not slotted. I, I might need a certain carburetor tool to adjust that. I want to get a closer look. And I'm going to take this base off with that same Torx nut for that. Get this off. And then... And I'll use a nuts, a wrench to get these two bolts off. Loosen them up. Twist them off. This one. I'll get that in a second. Get this one. Okay, so I got those off, and then this should. Just lift right off and there is the adjustment screws I'm talking about so you see you need a special tool because these are splined they don't want you adjusted them that's why you know years ago they would just have a, a slot here or something for a Phillips I'm Phillips a flathead screwdriver and you could adjust them that way so I'm sure it has something to do with EPA or something but this is the carburetor I don't know what I want to do right now maybe make my own tool try to get one or just replace the carburetor rebuild it since I don't have one of those I'm just taking some needle needle nose pliers you really should be adjusting this while it is running it but I'm just going to turn it a little bit with that. I've already turned it about three quarter of a turn. And I'm going to start it and see where I stand. Put, tighten this back up. What I did was turn that screw marked H for high, um, for high speed counterclockwise about a full turn. And I'm just, just put it back together, tightening it up. Let me show you that because it's very easy. Just do the opposite. And I'm going to take it outside and see what uh, adjusting that screw did. Fantastic, sounded great. That was a little challenging doing that with one hand while holding the phone camera, but didn't bog down. Very happy with that. It's amazing, just the turn of a screw. <laughs> what it can do. It didn't have to take it to a shop or nothing. 
so I'm just a homeowner if you can do it better that's great but I didn't have to rebuild it or put a new carburetor on or nothing so all right on to the next project y'all have a good evening